Boltzmann had discovered one of the fundamental equations which makes the universe work, and he had dedicated his life to it. The philosopher Bertrand Russell said that for any great thinker, this discovery that everything flows from these fundamental laws comes, as he described it, with the overwhelming force of a revelation. Like a palace emerging from the autumn mist as the traveller ascends an Italian hillside. And so it was for Boltzmann. But for him, that palace was here at Duino in Italy, where he hung himself. In 1906, Boltzmann came here to Duino with his wife and daughter on holiday. Exhausted and demoralized, his ideas still not accepted. While they were out walking, he killed himself and left no note of explanation. Of course, we can never know what Boltzmann was thinking, but I think we have clues. Boltzmann knew what it was to be in the grip of a beautiful and powerful idea. He once wrote that what the poet laments holds for the mathematician, that he writes his works with the blood of his heart. So we know that he was a passionate man. But I think there is another clue. At the start of one of Boltzmann's major scientific papers, he quotes three lines from Goethe's Faust. Bring forth what is true, write it so it's clear, defend it to your last breath, which of course he does. But I think there's something deeper here. Why quote Faust at the start of a scientific paper? The pact that Faust makes with the devil is that the devil will give him all of the knowledge and all of the experience that he wants so long as he never asks to stay in any one moment. And I think when Boltzmann came here to this beautiful place, after 30 years of fighting for what he believed in, he simply said, I want to stay here in this perfect, beautiful moment. I don't want to have to leave. I want time for me to stop. The great and controversial thing that Boltzmann had done was to introduce into the unchanging perfection of classical physics the notion of real time, of irreversible change. And yet it was this man who in his final moments wanted time to stop. So ironically, Boltzmann was vindicated just after his death. If uh, he would have waited a little longer, Boltzmann would have been one of the father of the revolutionary of the 20th century physics. That there was no natural order that God had set in stone had already been pointed out by the scientist Boltzmann most admired, Charles Darwin. In place of timeless perfection was a dance of evolution and extinction. With his equation of entropy, Boltzmann brought this picture of constant change into the very heart of physics itself. Did Boltzmann understand the similarity? Almost certainly. When Boltzmann was asked how his century would be remembered, he did not choose a physicist. He said it would be the century of Darwin. I'm 13. Personal note. When I was a little kid, my mother told me not to stare into the sun. So once when I was six, I did. The doctors didn't know if my eyes would ever heal. I was terrified, alone in that darkness. 
slowly. Daylight crept in through the bandages. And I could see. But something else had changed inside me. That day I had my first headache. state my assumptions. One, mathematics is the language of nature. Two, everything around us can be represented and understood through numbers. Three, if you graph the numbers of any system, patterns emerge. Therefore, there are patterns everywhere in nature. Evidence the cycling of disease epidemics, the wax and wane of caribou populations, sunspot cycles, the rise and fall of the Nile. 1722, personal note. When I was a little kid, my mother told me not to stare into the sun. So once when I was six, I did. I don't know, what is it? 46,665. See? How about 748 divided by 230? I got it! 